Uh, what's up, everybody? Uh, I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud. And this is another episode of Damn Internet. You scary. Hey. We got some very special guests in the house, ladies and gentlemen. We have Big the cast. Oh, not even cast. We have the 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 uh, have the host of Somewhere on Sunset. This is a brand new podcast where they talk about uh, life style and just regular life. Activities. That's the Spotify bio. You're a comedian. Jazz is a celebrity barber. Uh, I'm uh, just here. You, you know, you make content. I'm just here. You make content and you be doing get readies with me and stuff like that. And you uh-huh. wear your hair a lot of different ways. That's life style. Because with me? Ted didn't cut my hair, so I had to wear a wig today because I was supposed to get a haircut. And he never told me, called me back to let me know mm. when he was going to cut my let hair. Let me tell you what we're not going to do. Is there are Don't check out the bus like that. Man, man. Oh, honey, I'm driving the bus. You get cut by a barber? He cuts my hair. And I say, yo, Tez, I need to line up. Oh, baby girl, I'm busy. Cool, cool, cool. Let's wake up Monday. <laughs> Never heard back. But it's well, I mean, cool, though. Here's the thing. Here's the thing though. That's your fault I, because you should know that barbers take Monday but off. I so if he up told and I you, doubled back. That's if he true. told you that Monday was going to link up. Anyway, I'm going to let you introduce. You be getting lined up, son? Uh, hey, man. Y'all uh, not finna do me, but listen, okay. This is about to be a Y'all very about to hold problematic this wig in a episode. Um, Lineups is crazy. I am CT. I have, I'm Clayton yeah, Thomas. This is Tiz. This is Lavender. Uh, Tiz, Tiz what? Uh, oh, God. This is Breacher. Black Reacher, there ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he is... This, uh, this well, Taz thing. is cool, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, audible to a cooler name. <laughs> nah, not Taz. Breacher. Breacher. Black 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 Black. Breacher? Black Reacher? Yes. Black Reacher, man. Yes. This yeah. is what we're dealing with. Hmm. That's where we are. Yeah. And uh, we are yeah. somewhere on Sunset. Lavender yes, is an extremely talented and trained dancer. Thank She's an you. actor. She is a voiceover artist. Taz, celebrity... Oh. Barber, he is also a producer, and this man will do bodyguard work. And apparently, in the streets, they say he's escorting. Outside of that, uh, we do all that. What? He's selling you that sell thing. It? Okay. I, I heard he's selling that thing. 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 He's Hey. Like, oh, I'm just hey. around, Don't buy me. Hey. <laughs> it ain't too early for me to leave, man. <laughs> I can go. I can go. I don't live that far. I, I can go. Far. I can go. I don't live that far. I can go. I don't live that far. I can go. 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 I no escape. <laughs> no escape. His body is always touching yours. He's like, how are you? Why are you not touching mine? Bro, you know what's you awesome? The back of it. When you, you know, when you get in the haircut, bro, and it's like, you've had that haircut where the barber's leg touch your arm and I you like, you gonna, bro. You were like, do yeah. I move my hand? I definitely move it. Because I don't want you to get the wrong idea. Oh, you out of control. <laughs> <laughs> you keep your hand there. It seems like snapping. it's on purpose. What? Get away from me. Because like, I'm a fucker when I thump it. You gonna yeah. stop it. Stop. Get away from me. They you know what you're doing? Gonna gonna they gonna, gonna leave know. half your head cut. <laughs> bop, 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 bop. Flicking is that you? Head? Go yeah. Flicking I started making a bitch with my mama. <laughs> <laughs> and I was on my hands. Are you trying to act like it wasn't This is a lot of contact. This is a lot of contact. The contact you don't want. Yeah, okay. Figure it out then. Figure out another way to cut my hair. Bro, I stopped going to a barber when I was like 12. This dude, I had my arm on the chair. His meat was on my whole hand. I was like, bro, I'm 12, Damn. bro. I'm this 12. is out of control, man. <laughs> I literally, I told my mom, I was like, let's find somebody else. She was like, why? I was like, I don't, yeah. I don't like how you cut me. <laughs> <laughs> meat on my hand, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Oh, uh, oh, it's man. nine in the morning. It's wow. Y'all coming in real hot. Oh, so you really did have a pizza in You there. got a pizza pocket for real. It's you a had a pizza sleeve? warmer. It's a piece of warm. Piece of warm. Here's the question. Did the pizza come with the hoodie? Wow. Or did the, well, <laughs> the hoodie come with the hoodie? Right. We are not going to glide you, over that. Warm up so the slice of pizza if y'all... When you throw is it that a mind. fucking holster? <laughs> it's a pizza holster. This nigga, nigga sound jealous right now. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm definitely hating. And he's saving you know it for later. Nigga sound jealous and right now. <laughs> saving it for later. This nigga Are you selling these? A pepperoni but, out the no, head. No, 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 no. I'm very serious. It's, it's proprietary. Does that shit and I'm have not a, selling it. No, oh, just for me. Shady. That shit has a scope on it. <laughs> 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 oh, Why you wow. do that? You a wild nigga. 
it, bro. He's a wild man. Why did you see that as warm? He was like, oh, no, put it on my dick. Right here, just put that slice of pizza on his face. First of all, I did not do that. I did not make it a pepperoni and penis. Hey, man. Oh, what oh, happens okay. in this Did they really come right. together? No, nah, no, nah, I went about this earlier. There was no contact? Okay. Where'd you get it? 7-Eleven. Oh, oh, man. man. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to tell you this. 7-Eleven wings beat that fire. I'll take 7-Eleven crispy, uh, spicy wings over everybody's wings. Why don't y'all just go to, like, fast food restaurants? Why don't you just mind <laughs> your goddamn business, Patrick? <laughs> if you were in a hurry... You have to get out to get and walk into a 7-Eleven. That's There's right. no drive throughs oh, You have to get out so to walk anywhere. That's actually more effort than just stopping at Wendy's or something. That's what I'm telling you. See, you, you asking that question shows that you don't really divulge into getting the type of wings that you should at 7-Eleven. The 7-Eleven regular spicy wings, way better than Pizza Hut, way better than Wingstop. They're amazing. Now, the pizza, that's a toss-up. If you're just in a hurry, you need a slice of pizza to do your thing. Watch but the, the wings, brother. Do you think it's chicken? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Who says that? I don't want to know anymore. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, he just ruined it for if, me. if I was doing 7-Eleven inventory and I yeah. had to order gum, condoms, Shit. medicine, soda, and food, you think yeah. I'm getting the highest quality? Or what? you think there could be some pigeon thrown in there? Well, let me tell you something about pigeons, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> they never tasted so good, brother. <laughs> they never tasted so good. Uh, Detroit is crazy. Yeah, man. Wow. Pigeon meat. Wow. Pigeon <laughs> meat. Eight mile, me. okay. eight mile meat. Eight, <laughs> eight mile meat. Eight mile meat. Eight mile meat. Nasty oh. work. <laughs> you ain't yeah. lived to that meat. eight mile meat. Man. That's wild. <laughs> just think, you wanted to leave a while ago. Sit down, man. Get comfortable. <laughs> Sit down, man. What are you talking about, man? Oh. We just get started. There were so many back to back crazy things that just happened. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> I'm trying to sit here and be quiet. I'm going to let y'all go. So many be things. Beautiful, you haven't been quiet since you got in here. Yeah, okay. Titty's been talking. You, you pulled up on a lot of hot. I saw you going off with somebody we was driving on like, and then you parked. You ain't been quiet the whole time. It's okay, because that's why you're here. Somebody? I, I, mm -hmm. What'd you do? what you just reach for? Nah, I was, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yep, totally. Mm. Parking while yelling at somebody is kind of crazy. I wasn't parking y'all parking lot yelling. I was just like, hey, I'm outside. Tell them to pull up. Open the door for me. I'm here. I just parked the car. That's all I said. That's yeah. I, said. I know. I was just saying, like, her windows was up. It's like, you could tell. You, you just saw the motion? Yeah. You want a slice? <laughs> you have an additional slice? Would you like a slice? Not an additional asking, slice. A secondary like weapon? You, I thought you just, oh, man. Did you like No. You tried Wait, before. that's not the first one? No. No. That's, that's a, a separate one? one? It's definitely a different one. This nigga has a, a, a wow. The you the out of here. That's the crazy. secondary pizza is crazy. Like you got a hot, you I feel like you got a hot dog sweater mm -hmm. like this too, though. <laughs> <laughs> a hot dog sweater. The glizzy's no, the, the, the glizzy <laughs> taped glizzy to the ankle. <laughs> he had an ankle holster for that. Niggas one. sound <laughs> jealous, bro. Listen. That's all I'm saying, man. If you if you see something like, all you got to do is compliment somebody on it. You don't have to like try to make a mockery of it. Can't put the hammer on me. You ain't got to make a mockery of it. Jealousy is not a good column on you, okay? Mm. It's time you worked on yourself. And the best way to work on yourself is with better help, okay? Because better help is out here changing the game when it comes to therapy, all right? No more sitting yeah, in an true. awkward uh, waiting room, no more waiting three months to get put on with a, a therapist. I've done all of these things. I don't want that for you. I want the best for you. And this is the perfect time to switch it up and make those changes that can last a lifetime for you. So, I want to let you know that this episode is sponsored in part by BetterHelp, all right? Uh, BetterHelp is B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P, -E -E and that's exactly what they do. They are better at helping than a lot of other people. Uh, maybe you finally recognize, I'm sorry, ready to organize your life in other ways, not just the physical, not just change the furniture around the house, but you are really ready to take that next step and getting yourself together, being the best version of you mentally, because your mental health is just as important as your physical and everything else, emotional, everything. I am a proponent and a champion of mental health. I believe that it has helped me in my personal and my business relationships. I believe that it has made me a better person. I believe that it has helped me communicate more effectively and transparently. So. I want to let you know, if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely done online, designed to be convenient, it's flexible, and it is suited for your schedule. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time free of charge. Was another big thing. I've been with regular uh, schmegler therapy, and they were uh, uh, just a headache. 
to try to switch it up. But you don't have to worry about that with BetterHelp. Um, you get to celebrate the progress that you've already made. Uh, you get to tell your friends about it, and you get to be proud of yourself. And right now, if I'm telling you about it, of course we got a deal for you. We're giving out 10% on your first month. All you have to do is visit betterhelp.com slash DIYS today to get 10% off your first month. That's better, H-E-L-P, betterhelp.com slash DIYS. Let me tell you something. That, wow. brother, that got pretty good, man. That brother is <coughs> hey, smooth. You're not new to this, huh? I'm true to this. True to this, hey, absolutely. Well, it's, pretty, it's pretty mean to do something as crazy as taking pizza out of your chest and then going into an ad where yeah, none of us can like say anything. Much, right? Nobody can say anything. It was just that. like, <laughs> 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 good. <laughs> You know what? Seems like it's still a couple of sessions. Uh, yeah. Here's the thing: you weren't supposed to double back. You were supposed to leave it alone. We were moving past mm. it. You circled it's the no block. That was unnecessary. Mm. It'd be different if we seen the hoodie before. You, 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 you gave us the hoodie this, and the thing I at the same time. I bought this weeks ago, and I held on to it just this moment. Just right for here. the pizza. It's been in the bag. Just ready to go. With I the had pizza? this. I had my. Uh, with, with the with pizza. The, <laughs> <laughs> the pizza didn't make it. <laughs> pizza definitely didn't make it. <laughs> the pizza that was that was you know that was a casualty of war. <laughs> you know what I mean? We got a new one this morning. And for the record, pizza can be breakfast. Breakfast oh, is wow. just the that. breaking of that. the fast. I believe that. You fast from when you go to sleep to when you wake mm -hmm. up, and your first meal is breakfast because you broke the fast mm -hmm. of not eating. Yeah. So breakfast can be technically anything. It could be pizza. To here. It could yeah. be. You better Unless you are about to confirm what I'm saying, wait. I think you should just. Yeah. I think so, you should just hold them out. So technically, there's a new nutritionist. Well, I don't think they're new, but there's a dietitian who just said that a greasy slice of pizza is technically healthier for breakfast than a bowl of cereal with milk. I believe them. because they have similar similar calorie counts, but pizza has higher protein content for morning. Uh, si like I've never seen that word. Yeah. You've never, never seen believe. that word? Sat satiated? Satiation? S-A-T-I-E-T-Y? It don't help when they spell it. I don't see it. it. Where are we looking? Where are we looking? Satiation. Morning sati. 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 Morning sati. sati. I don't even know what you're looking at. Sati. I don't even see the word. Look, look, look. Morning sati. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. You sati. said it right. Is it really sati? Yeah, I think it's sati. Oh, well, yeah. So, um... Need some aqua surf sweat? Pizza. More healthy than cereal. More healthy than cereal. Hate to break it to y'all. Wow. Y'all believe that? Yeah, no. I believe that. I believe absolutely. that. I believe Cereal that. ain't nothing but sugar. Yeah. Pizza, absolutely. you getting you getting you getting bread, no, you get some starches, do you get some protein, you <laughs> get a little dairy. <laughs> what? Tell you the truth? You break it down the yeah. pizza. I, mean, I just see the food Nothing pyramid. more fire than cold pizza. A, pizza. a cold a slice of pizza cold hits pizza all fire. of the, 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 the pyramid. food pyramids. So you got all the base thing. with the carbs. Mm hmm Then you got your what, like left, right, dairy. You got your dairy, you got your you got your your vegetables. Our, our fruits and vegetables, because tomato is a what? Hello. Hello. Tomatoes are fruit, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Somebody tomato sauce. On there. I mean, you People could throw pineapples, pineapples, but you also could you be a cereal killer. Yeah. So yeah. that's that. I, I agree. I don't do it. It sounds like you do, you cherry do coke feed. <laughs> Man, pineapples on pizza. Put my business uh, Y'all not going to talk about me because I eat pineapple on pizza. Well, well guess who we talking about? Yeah. <laughs> that would be you. Ah! Your, your pineapple on pizza? pizza, my girl. You Thank too, you. Shay? Okay. I don't know. I gotta think it's for like sweet and savory. Uh, I love pineapple on pizza. It's not that bad. You're relieved Thank for the rest you, of the day, Shay. It's Thanks so much. I don't need oh. your services in, huh? Oh, oh, shit. This is all. Well, yeah, that's for every oh, okay. pizza, though, oh, right? Oh, it's not for me. Yeah, it gotta you know be fresh. Like fresh out. Okay. And no, I like the pineapple's a little hot too. Is that a third slice? Mine. You must be stuck. How many slices of pizza are in that pocket? He got a box. Is it? It's like the Mary Poppins. Is it like infinite? Right now. I don't even yeah, know. Every time, Poppins, Poppins, every time you put it, it, in, it refills. <laughs> My, job is, My job is. My job is. That's insane. It's a pizza. It's even Mary Poppins. Huh? It's magnetic. It is magnetic. Wow. Magnetic pizza. Holder. Designer. Warmer. <laughs> it keeps the pizza warm. Yeah. It's me in collaboration and, and uh, Martha Stewart uh, oh. dropping. Probably fall 24. Okay. Fall 24. That's I love it, man. Funny. That's oh. actually crazy. Martha Stewart is out of control. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she making pizza warmer pockets and not canvas eating a slice. Hey, uh. do y'all remember finding out that the food, we were just talking about the food pyramid. The food yeah. pyramid is fake and it was just made up to make us like to sell stuff. Cam, really? is there any I'm, authenticity? You guys have been shouting my childhood from the moment we got there. Y'all didn't know? Room. I did not know that. What? Not, okay, not so the food pyramid is fake. Mm -hmm. I'm devastated. It's like the Got Milk uh, campaign. I'm on oh, yeah, like, that was two, three servings of fruit. Yeah, Got, got Milk was the Make, biggest propaganda since the war on drugs. That's a fact. 
here's the thing. You thought milk really did make you strong because I used Bro, to I love cow's milk. I drank the milk. Right. Yeah. And it made sense. It was like white. I thought it just like absorbed oh, into it your made teeth. Sense it was white. Yeah. It was I thought white it just like attached to your camp. teeth and your and bones. Your bones. Yeah. Like... I knew something was off when I could never get my mustache like theirs. I was like, what milk are they drinking? I've tried I D. I've tried. Half a super sin. D. Half a D. D. To hear you just say half a sin. You a wild D. He like 50 percent milk. Not you. See that? Lavender says we are guests on their show. I'm just saying. The man said I tried D. And y'all are out of control, bro. You know what? This is about what I expected. This town, Chicago. What ghetto are you from? Cut the fucking camera. Cut it. Cut it off. Cut it off. First of all, don't ever get it twisted. I'm from New York City. Don't ever try to play me. So I was right. <laughs> what big ghetto? What borough? I represent Harlem. What's up? Harlem world B. Yo, sir. Okay. That's a good one. This explains <laughs> so okay. much. Even with me, not like not y'all, me, y'all, been, y'all been on my head from the dough. I'm trying Everybody to Everybody on everybody's head. I just told Cortez he shoots up chalk, cherry coke. Which ghetto are you from? Me. Wow. What get- Right to the vein. Like, well, goddamn, you don't have to remind me. Yeah. Shit. You got, a, you got a diplomat chain? Harlem world. I hate I hate this so much. Cam, why you leave me in here with them? Uh, he's been here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's gonna save you, baby girl. Man, close your right leg a little bit, bro. Oh, that's you know, hilarious. Wow. Each other, it's like your quads are huge. And it's like, I respect what you're what? doing at the gym, but it's like, <laughs> you keep shaking your leg, and I keep trying doing. to move my leg to the right. I respect what you're doing at Every time you move to the right, I keep healing the, the knee. Just keep. <laughs> it's gonna be a long. <laughs> Man, hey, for me to say something, I can't either, but I am. You mind if I scoot closer to you? Yeah. What I'm gonna do? Yeah, man, come on over here to Cherry Coke Land. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, internet, you're serious. Quick. I can't. I see what the problem I is. I can't. This, look. this nigga thighs is outside the chair. They're not look, outside look, the chair. Look, look at mine. I'm in my look, parameters. Look, 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 look. This is how you sit now. This nigga's outside of the chair. This is how you were sitting. Look at this. Sitting wide. Yeah, That's sitting not wide. the truth. Yeah, 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 I mean, I'm no, you sitting wide. I'm looking right now. You're not. He's like, he's Nah, you just adjust. This thigh is not regular legs. His thigh is not regular legs. It's fitted on that side. That's all I'm saying. It's okay. I do it too. I'm just saying. I use chair thighs like me. We have spillage. No, I do not. Good. <laughs> what we should have been sprinkled in between y'all. I should, yeah. Uh, and I said that. I was like, how should we do this? Because it's different with three. You were like, how are they? I was like, you know. Yeah. If in the Midwest. <laughs> we like so they stink. That's like what you thought? Y'all. Y'all. Wait, it's Detroit, New York, and where? Chicago. Y'all. Chicago. Okay. Okay. Where you? Where you from? To y'all. Here? He's from St. Louis. Louis. Fake, fake, fake Chicago. Oh, oh, oh I'm saying, fake, fake Chicago. Fake Chicago. That's shady. Excuse me, you say what now? That's shady. Yeah, yeah. The East girls are St. fighting. St. Louis. The, the hospital only he thing they had popping out of St. Louis is Nelly. St. Louis? The only thing they had was Nelly. That's not true. He was giving Texas. Nelly and Chinko. I knew he was a fucking boy. from St. Louis? But I was like, it's giving. It's giving. Yeah, that's all. But they're from regular St. Louis. He's from East St. Louis. Okay, well, first of all, shut up. You don't know. You don't know the difference. That's number one. Number two, don't uh, shut up. You too. <laughs> shut your ass up too. Man. Chingy and Nell, did Chingy and Nelly ever go over there though? Well, first of everybody all, went to East St. So East St. Louis. Nelly. East St. Louis was just across the river, right? So the only thing that's ever was the Mississippi. People went to East St. Louis, even though they talk shit about East St. Louis because our club stayed open to five and six. St. Louis closed at one or two. So they would leave the clubs, go to East St. Louis to go to the strip clubs. So the strip clubs are open to six. Mm-hmm. So they talked that shit, but they still came over there. Niggas was leaving when they was over there. 6 a.m. Huh? Yeah, I was about to say, leaving no, somewhere no, at 2 a.m. T- and going somewhere else is crazy. You see the titties That's at 3. After, after party, you said they closed the at 6. The they closed at 6, yes. Yeah, that I don't sounds need, about If right. I'm in a strip club past 2 a.m., I have a problem. <laughs> Wait, but if you didn't get I that to like 2 a.m. Gets, thank you. I feel like it gets popping. Yeah, so close. Don't start popping until like 12, 1. You get out 4 or 5. Why? Then we go all have right. breakfast. We Are get out like, about 8. Do the, yeah. We've done this before. We went to Atlanta to go. We didn't leave the strip oh, club to 4. Fun. But do they like save the best strippers till no. late? <laughs> Sometimes. No. Why does it not get cracking until 2 a.m.? You know how you know, comics, you know comics like go to other comic show and they just be posting up shit. Strippers will come like, oh shit, oh you want me to get up? I'll do a little guest. For real? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you want to do a guest? You, so you want to do ten? <laughs> like, yeah. You want to do ten minutes? <laughs> you want to do five? I got two songs. Ready? Let me take off my overalls. You already do. They got. I got a new move. I need to work out. No. <laughs> you want to dance to the dip set? Like, hey, if I do that, 
on. Trying out oh, new dance moves. Oh, that's what happens. happens. I'm not gonna front on you, bro. If I'm at the strip club, because I like to go to the strip club early, because I like to see the girls that don't get the prime time spot. Oh, you're I want to see them breaking in new talent. I want to see the oh, girl see the that wants a shot. CT you know is like? trying to save these homes. You know what I mean? He catch them before they committed okay. to the lifestyme. Yeah. Like, you know you got to do this. Right? <laughs> I knew that was coming. I was like, you don't say that. <laughs> if your lifestyle's under five hundred dollars, Daddy yeah, got you. I got you. Talk about the eight p.m. strippers. <laughs> oh my god. Eight p.m. Yo, this is what I knew I had to stop going to the strip club. I went to the strip club at 3 p.m. and they had opened like 10 minutes late and I was like, come on, man. It's, come on. I'm That's what I was like. I'm tripping. Whoa, they open late? I'm tri- you walked in first what? like Black Friday? I was the first one in the strip club. Like, come on, man. It's supposed to be too like, Were you the only one who walked in? I was the only one. And then Nasty word. The, the, That's the security guard had to tell I saw the DJ set up. That's how early I was, What? Bro. Did you help him set up? I did not. <laughs> I sat out in front of the stage waiting for the girls to come. <laughs> you <just sat> <laughs> you <laughs> fucking creep. That's no, crazy. Ah, you creep. You were a yeah. <laughs> Speaking to the girls as they walk. Yo. I like What's this up, girl? Watch What's, watch up? Watch What's up? up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Staff was lighting your what ass is, up in the back. What is appropriate imagine. strip club attire? Okay, now here's the thing. This is the, I'm going to tell you the truth. When well, you all went over, here's the thing. I'm going to tell you the truth. The true appropriate attire for a patron to go to the strip club would okay, probably so be a patron. Yeah. <laughs> You're trying to take the creep off of me. Yeah, you're trying to take the creep off of me. You still a fucking creep. You just go with a trench coat with nothing under it. Trench coat with nothing under it. Bro, uh, one of my homegirls is a stripper, and she told me, she was like, look, because I went to the strip club one time out of control, because I didn't know that you weren't supposed to do this, and she she set me straight. She was like, you can't do that. And I'm going to tell you what I did. I showed us at the strip club. Shut the fuck up. What happened? She slobbered. I <laughs> oh. was like, who is this? What's going on over there? What's going on over there? <laughs> she I was like, she was like, <laughs> who is I this? I didn't even slobber. catch your mouth. What like, nursing home <laughs> shit was that? No, seriously. I was struggling. I was struggling. And I was like, I was like, nobody ain't see it. Nobody ain't see it. That's why she late. She hot. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> she hot. Can't keep my mouth closed. Yeah, yeah. That was funny. <laughs> oh, God. She late. She high ass trying to drive. The back seat for too long. I couldn't let that go. I couldn't let that go. Have you ever been swallowed? <laughs> swallowed? Your saliva like, nope, not us. See <laughs> that? <laughs> 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 oh, I could no. not. Okay. Yeah. I'm focused. What yeah. were you saying? So in this strip club. Oh, man. <laughs> what, was that? what if that was like the equivalent of like women getting hard? <laughs> oh, no, no, that was funny. Not for me to say that. That was too funny. Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it, is Okay, I'm over here perspiring. Oh, okay, let's put that. Drooling and shit, hyperventilating, oh, and hot flashes. Okay. Just some niggas. It is hot, right? I'm not gonna put Everybody go out and do something. You like y'all brought a Soviet to infiltrate. Y'all trying to bring somebody in to infiltrate the states. Keep what her. Is this? Is this a soul? <laughs> Keep her in the kitchen. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all get that shit off. You see how they oh. roast me, y'all? Oh, you see how they this. roast me? Why am I in front of My anger oh. comedian. No, I was over there, I would have let it go. Yeah, it was my right here. Yeah, I was like, oh, I can't even. Uh-huh. I was like, I'm going to just stay frozen and see if you say it. <laughs> Yo. You talk about super villains, bro. Patrick no, y'all are terrible, yeah. sir. It's yes, a sir. super villain, I'm sorry. bro. That was my bad. Keep going. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. The okay, strip club well, attire. Nah, nah, strip club nah, attire. Nah, Come on, man. Nah. It, have we missed it? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah you know what's nah, funny, nah. bro? When you do podcasts, like I'm always the person to be like, man, people be on podcasts saying too much, right? <laughs> and it was in that moment where I was like, man, should I say this? And then that happened. I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you was about to say some wild shit about the attire? Yeah. It was, it was uh, what he wore. Remember, that's what he was yeah, on. He was about yeah. to say what he so wore. So you don't wear drawers is what you were going to say. What? 
That's, that's what, what, what other dress? thing about the attire? You wear what they wear? Yeah, that's wrong with that. That's exactly what it is. No wrong with being out here with loose meat. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What else would it be? Nothing wrong with being loose meat. He's a loose meter. Has he told you about his loose meeting festival? I saw clips where he was talking about it. I was like, yeah, yeah, he can't come over the house. It's a lot of ball meat on my sofa right there. For those of you guys who don't know which is everybody, Tez goes to the gym with sweatpants and no drawers. That's what he does. I mean, he lets it hang I, just, I don't wear drawers with sweats. Which is even so more. So it ain't just for what? I just like, don't understand the, the logic. Y'all wear, y'all wear drawers with Nah, that's, yeah. that's, 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 yeah. listen, that's intentional with sweats? advertising. Yeah. Okay, that's premeditated mm. advertising. Because here's the thing. If you were going with like jeans, like, all right, but jeans are already, Who you know. Who goes to the gym with jeans on? I'm right. just saying, no, no. I, cause <laughs> no, because you made the distinction. Uh, I don't wear drawers with sweats. It don't have to just be the gym. So if you felt that way, you could do that with jeans. Like, I just wear no drawers with jeans, nah, but you you're doing it with, with jeans. you're doing it with you're doing it with sweats because you know they're thin. Okay, now here's the thing though: you're gonna run across somebody dick bigger than yours. Wow! <laughs> and they're gonna have on sweats. And they're gonna make you I put on drawers. We wow! Life. But we hear I, like, I, I they look like they're gonna, they gonna, they gonna be like, they gonna be like what, you what you doing, little man? What you what you doing, little man? Lord, yeah. Yeah. Then, man. Then, Why are you foremost. working out? <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm not looking at some other man. No, 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 no. Where you going, little man? It's just be like, oh, you got me fucked up. Let me get my shit up. Let me go grab the like, oh, that's cute. That's you regular? That's crazy, my boy. Not you regular. That was me at eight. Pack that up. It's actually one of my biggest fears. Comparing me to random men. It's like you in the press press position and they standing up. You're like, oh, it's right there. Bro, let me tell you something. I do not let anybody spot me, bro, especially on no bench presses. I have that same thing. I'm like, I don't want nobody over me, bro. You just turn your life on the line. Until my life is on the line. If your life is on the line, you ain't going to care. What are you talking about? If you got like four or five over your head, oh, no. You struggling? You still You don't care if something touches your head. You'd rather die? If you die, you die? This is good to know that you're feeling this way about a penis touching your forehead. But me, I'm not lifting nothing that I know I can't handle all the way as many reps as I'm going to do. Ain't nobody's me. You, you, ain't my you, you ain't gonna grow like that, then, hey, brother. You gotta put yourself it's a crazy in a crazy way to die. Hey, man, maybe he's a show and not a grower. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he like funny. <laughs> you need a spot? No, 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 no. no. Yeah, he's choosing death. That'll no. no. make you quit the gym. That'll make you quit the gym. Yeah. <laughs> if somebody, if somebody spotting you and they meet hit your head, I gotta change gyms. You gotta quit. You can't go back. You can't go back. No. Whole turkey. You gotta cut it off. Yeah. Oh, that's like I'm working out at home. What if it don't? What if it don't hit you, but it hit the bar? Oh, I got you. 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 I remember you. Oh my god! Ain't no way in the world. Quit the quit the gym is crazy as hell. You know what I'm saying? Doing anything cold turkey is crazy as hell. Now cold turkey may go great on sandwiches, but there's a better way to break your bad habits. Cam, put the camera on me. Let's get it going, man. Listen, we're talking about our sponsor, Fume. Now, for those that don't know. I was already using Fume before they reached out to it, and I love when a brand reaches out to us and it's something that I'm already familiar with, I've already been using. I was trying to cut up my nasty little habit, and I picked up Fume. So this is a housing cartridge right here. It is actually just flavored air. There's no technology in this. There's no charging this. There's nothing. You have a, a litter of flavors to choose from. This right here is a mint. I like the mint. It kind of gives me that seal, that same flavor, that same feel when I do the inhale. But there's no smoke, as you see. You can also adjust the bottom so you can uh, adjust how much air gets in so you can see how hard you want to pull it. You get to really help you cut off that bad habit and replace it with a good habit. And I appreciate you for coming through. You got this nice walnut hub right here. This is premium walnut, and you have this matte finish on the mouthpiece as well. It gets easily in the pocket, and because there's no technology, you won't have any qualms about taking it on any of your flights or trains or any type of form of transportation. Um, get to worry. Stop worrying about that bad smell. 
You know what I'm saying? That bad smell that offends so many people when you're walking through. Uh, you can start embracing life. You can start de-stressing your life and forgetting about that anxiety of having that hand and mouth or fixation that sometimes we have when we're trying to cut off that bad habit. This is a perfect alternative for those that are ready to kick off the year with some good habits. Um, and this is the way to do it. This is a great way to do it. So I encourage you, if you've been thinking of replacing that bad habit with a good habit, check out Fume. Go to tryfume.com slash damn, D-A-M, and use the code DAMN for an additional 10% off. Plus, buy one, get one course until January 31st to help make starting a good habit that much easier. Again, you got a lot of flavors to choose from. Go through, check it out, give 10% off, and get the buy one, get one on the um, on the, on the cartridges until January 1st. So don't forget to go to tryfume.com slash damn and use the code DAMN for an additional 10% off. Holla at your baby. Hey, hey what's up, the wall not going? Damn! I love that. that. What's that, the walnut going? Well, this is a walnut finish. That's what it is. It's a housing cartridge, oh. and it's a walnut finish, and this is a matte finish on the mouthpiece. Okay. The old That's what walnut I said. Now, finish. Now, you try to make it nasty. That's what you tried to do, because you childish, okay? You childish, and your shirt is too small. I don't want to say nothing. <laughs> Listen, he looked a little to say nothing. Yeah, on, yeah, yeah, that's what it took to get it on. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see the permission slip that you have for your shirt to have it on the house. That's an inside shirt house. That's a inside house shirt. I know good and goddamn well you ain't got no permission slip for that shirt to be outside. Cause there's some moisture hit it, okay? It turns some sports bra. Now, now look at you. I ain't got nothing for it. Hey, yo. <laughs> He's gonna have to hold when that. I get yeah. buff, I'm never wearing a shirt that fits. <laughs> Dan said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's the living embodiment of it. <laughs> We got some crazy story for you guys, as always. Uh, Pat, you want to kick one off? Or you want me to kick one off? I can kick I got... one off. Uh, Let's go. Since we just talked about an alternative to vaping, uh, there was a 12-year-old girl who was just left in a coma because she was doing 4,000 puff vapes every few days, mm. and mm. her lung collapsed. Mm. And she said she started uh, vaping at nine years old. And uh, tried to hide it from her mom, but uh, she couldn't stop. 4,000 puffs every couple of days, and then became addicted to the nicotine. Lung collapsed. Y'all think this is worse than cigarettes? How do you do 4,000? Is she in school? You could yeah. be vaping in school. That's the yeah, thing. You could vape anywhere. Yeah. yeah. I would say for that well, reason, it's like worse like than cigarettes because you can get, get away with what? it. Easier. In, it's easier to con yeah. conceal. Like. At least cigarettes, like you had to stop everything. Yeah. Like oh, I need one. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go is wow. it's it like, is. Is she doing it like on reset? Like nobody sees. Probably her. in class. Yeah. In then class. you gotta ride the cheese bus. Home. Like the time. The, wait, wait. You, you gotta ride the what? The yeah. cheese bus. Home. What's that? Is that the New school York bus. Oh, because it's yep. Yeah. Got it. Never heard it. She took me back with that. You never heard that? I never heard it. Yeah, No, that's new for me. You know, you know, where are you from? Yeah, we said it. They rode, they rode tractors and and <laughs> they uh, rode somebody in uncle would pick all the so kids up. So your weren't yellow. Huh? Your school buses weren't yellow. I caught the public bus. I didn't. I was you caught kid. public oh. as a child. Yeah, like I, I with my the state. other adults. Yeah. Wow. When I was a like in high school, I did. But yeah, not for junior high school, high but not elementary. middle school. The schools couldn't afford. They the St. Louis couldn't afford school buses. The whole no, city couldn't oh. afford a school bus? Damn, oh, you don't know. Paul. That's wild. Oh, boy. Poor, man. <laughs> to take the bus Poor. as a we child with the nose. <laughs> that's how you get taken. That beard came with that shirt, didn't it? I can tell that's a, that's a one piece purchase right there. <laughs> Some nice ass shirt, nice ass beard. <laughs> no, bus. I wanted yeah, to get the school that. bus, but, uh, no, but St. Louis did. I just didn't. Because oh, I lived in East St. Louis. Yeah. So I called, I had to catch public, public transit bus. to Damn. get over. So I was a bus. My mom was a teacher, so she was still at school. She would still be working at school. You the same school? Same same school? Same school? Did you get on the cheese bus? I <laughs> stop calling it that. Uh, <laughs> my mom was teaching, I mean, middle school when I was in elementary. Yeah. So I wasn't at her school because I wasn't old enough to be at her school. So, so. what about when you became old enough? Um, she taught at a less favorable middle school. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow. So and she didn't want you to go there at all. Well, <laughs> with that, but also, like, I got accepted into a brand new magnet middle school. So, oh, like, I like when I the went there, it was um, it was the first year I went there. Like, oh, Bill Clinton came smart. to high school. It was oh. when he was president and all of that. So I was at mm. 
the premier school that you could go to oh, as a middle school. Did you meet Bill Clinton? Okay. Uh, no, he was actually on top of like a platform. He got dropped off on the on roof of our, our <laughs> um, like a platform that they have built up. So he got dropped off on the roof on the helicopter. From the chopper, came right. inside, went, to, got escorted to the platform. He spoke to everybody that was in the parking lot because we were all in the parking lot around mm-hmm. the platform. Like they built it up, and then he went back. Took that like a mistake. And, I was about to say this <laughs> was like the premier school. Like he was just like, I'm not going in there. <laughs> 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 Drop me off on the cafeteria. Yes. <laughs> Give me a Boy, megaphone. Fuck you. <laughs> hey guys, good to see you. <laughs> you played the sax. I'm not dope. going down there. He didn't play the sax. I was just lying about that part. Well, <laughs> everything else is everything else. Everything else is true though. That's everything great. Else true. Yeah. My school had R.L. Stein. Remember from Goosebumps? Whoa. Yeah. 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 He came through. Yeah, he came through, man. He sat there because he's from Detroit, and oh, he sat dope. in uh, in our cafeteria, and he read. An entire book that he wrote of Goosebumps, mm-hmm. and we were all there, and we all got copies, like free copies of Goosebumps. That yeah. actually makes a lot of sense. Bro. Seeing how decrepit Detroit is, that yeah, he so got he's trying, he's trying to get some more inspiration. <laughs> so you yeah. know what I'm saying? Horror books. Went to jail. That's what makes sense. That makes sense. He went outside. Eight mile murder. Eight mile murder. Eight mile murder. Eight mile murder. Decrepit. Makes sense. That's the great. Horrible, like the like you know, all words there. start with D. I Especially you when St. Louis only has one gas station. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. There's not a lot of cars, so yeah. you know, don't, don't overdo it. Don't yeah. overdo it, baby. A lot you know of bikes. A lot of bikes. A lot of bikes. And it's like you go fill up your car, your car gonna get stolen. Like, why would you do that? So <laughs> damn. <laughs> yeah, so gas station. No need to have that. Well, let me That's tell you, wild. St. Louis is the. I've been doing comedy 19 years. It's the only city that I have not went to. Really? And I've been kind of like scared because I've been hearing all these stories hmm. about people in St. Louis. Like, you want to come hey, on my man. birthday? I'm doing a birthday show. March you 10. know what I was thinking about? I First of all, I would. Okay. I would. And uh, the second thing is I was like, man, I think Tahir got I think you got married after us or before us? Before y'all. You got married before. before. And I was like, wait a minute. Why wasn't I at his wedding in St. Louis? I thought days. about that a week ago. I you didn't want to go to St. Louis? Family I, would have, I would have. I had family members that were at my wedding that stayed down the street from where I got married at. Oh, and we had, 30 to you? at we had 38 people at my wedding. Oh. Okay, 38. My mom tried to buy tickets for other people, with plates for other people, because I was like, I'm not paying for these plates for these cousins that I see it's only at funerals. Cheese. Who was your best man? Um, My brother, Irvin. You have a brother named Irvin? Uh, I, I got two others. Two more brothers. Uh, Irvin, what? Terrence, and Anthony. We got to talk about this yeah. after the show. Yeah. Absolutely. You're wow. out of control. Yeah. You have three brothers? Yeah. I, feel like I, I, I only know, know about the sister. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I only know about yeah. the sister. Why don't you talk about the brothers? And they're going to be your best man. They don't really come out. They can't really, they can't really leave the city. Can they leave your mouth though? Like you can talk about it. <laughs> oh, that sounds crazy. You can mention them. Okay. I wow. understand their parameters, but maybe you can speak about them. So another crazy story. You find <laughs> in the day, guys. Uh, this one was a really, this one was really crazy when I when I saw it. Um, let me pull it up real quick. Uh, <laughs> is nigga still looking at me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, so, uh, so people won't go to St. Louis or leave it. It's like Erie, Indiana. Why? Why won't? You, why didn't you want to go? I always heard the stories about people. Like I heard the stories of comedians specifically going to St. Louis, and uh, if the crowd didn't like their jokes, they'd be like, "Hey, you ain't leaving, fam," or you got to square what? it with somebody. <laughs> and at the point, what? Like my first fifteen years of comedy, I wasn't in a position to have security. You know what I mean? Niggas Protect getting beat me. up for not being funny. <laughs> yeah, man. Shoot to fail with him. <laughs> That's and I was like, I don't think You're I like, can, can go I just to give you your money back. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> also, her promoters taking people's money and not that giving them all their bread. So insane. I was like, man, and I don't know anybody in St. Louis to protect me. So I was like, it's a uh, great reason to not go. Yeah. Who goes to a comedy show ready to fight though? Oh man, <laughs> niggas better be funny, boy. Niggas better be funny. <laughs> I had a week. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this. No, sometimes bomb. you can't leave because of probation. So you might not be able to be leave the um, the city or the state because of your uh, it would violate your probation. No, I figured. So does the does the, do the terms of the probation mean that they can't be mentioned by their brothers either? <laughs> <laughs> you can't even be talked about. You know what it is. You know what it is. It's, it's like it's when people sentence. when I tell people some of the, some of the facets from my story, <laughs> like my life story. Uh, they're like, "Yo, you got to write the book." It's like, ah, I'm waiting for some people to die first. Oh, no. I get it. You can also no, change the names. That's, that's what I've It's yeah, a thing. It's a thing. You can change the name, but like some of the people they that would read the book, they would know. That's a crazy. Know, so. 
situation. Yeah. No way! <laughs> chapter one. <laughs> <laughs> you lying! What? Not him! Not him! Chapter two. It's a typewriter. <laughs> 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 I wanted to do this for a while. <laughs> he said a typewriter? <laughs> if I wrote a book, it would 1,000% be on a typewriter for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I used to love about typewriters, just yeah, doing that. Doing right. This. But it was the worst invention ever, because oh. if you fucked up, you got to start the whole You got to start over. over, bro. It was the last line. <laughs> <laughs> So we haven't. I can't remember if we talked about. No, I don't think we have talked about this the last time we shot. Um, the Miami Mall that was shut down by the mm. police because of rumors of eight to ten feet tall aliens. It looked like um, it. I haven't seen enough ungrainy footage for me to believe it. Right. But it's so much hype around this. For those that don't know, there was a mall in Atlanta. I mean Miami, uh, where. Cops were called out, but initially the, the the story was the cops were called out because it was a teenager fight, like a teen fight. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the footage, because you can Google the footage, when you look at the footage and see how many cop cars were there, yeah. there were right. over 20 cop cars there. No, right. it was like 40 to 50. Yeah, so oh, yeah. it's no way possible yeah. that's just for teens. Like, that it would like take too many teens. Right. Yeah, so I, I don't know what it is, but I don't think it was a teen fight. It's they, like when they, they say they a released, weather balloon instead of a UFO. A yep. They released a statement, right? Mm. Uh, Miami PD. And they, and they said what happened was they called, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it, whatever, whenever they called us, they say all of the cops in the city are supposed to converge on this area. I'm like, mm -hmm. for teens fighting? Mm -hmm. Right. That makes no sense to pull all mm. those resources to one spot just for teens fighting. Mm -hmm. And, that, and that's, if, if that was the case, where's the footage of the kids fighting? Right. Mm -hmm. You know that somebody re would have yeah. recorded There's that. There's no footage. There, there were people saying that when they were leaving the mall, the police were actually asking them did they have footage, and they were looking at it and deleting footage. Of a wow. fight? That's why there's no footage. Yeah, because usually you have so because much citizen Because people were saying they were recording when, yeah. these beings, right? There were a couple guys on there that were doing interviews, man. They oh, seemed great. real convinced, and they was like, I don't know what I saw. I don't know if it's aliens, but... We just saw something that I've never seen before, and it was like glitching. That's what that's what they were saying. Mm -hmm. What the footage? Was, no, they were saying the, the beans. beans. They the were beans. like yeah. glitching. Oh, like shit. they wasn't so, like it would be this... back here, and then it'd be like like It'll that, like on like some oh, like Spider Man, yeah. like, like it wasn't type solid. Type yeah. Like you listen, like, like it wasn't solid. You know how the ring was like, like a movie. Oh yeah, yeah like glitching. Yeah. Let's talk about aliens for a second, if we can, because we are. Let's jump into it. Number one, I am probably one of the most prepared people because of the fact. <laughs> that I watch so much science fiction. Yeah. Number one, guns and weapons do not need to be around an alien, okay? Because you're going to offend this alien, and that's how the problems start. Right. Number two. <laughs> Offending is fun. Everybody has always been, it's pretty obvious that police serve no purpose when it comes to aliens. Right. Because aliens are going to, these are just innocent bystanders. They're going to raise their gun. People fear what they don't understand. But what they do not, what, no, what doesn't happen is when people are seeing an alien, and they're just like, hmm. Let's see what this is about to be. Let me wave. Let me try and show I'm just a very peaceful person, mm -hmm. and then you're good. I the don't problems, think that either. <laughs> what? Name a movie where somebody's been peaceful and an well, don't name, name a movie. Independence, oh, like, Independence Day, the first one. Last year. Those people are on the roof like, welcome, come dance with us. <laughs> 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 oh, that was CT? Also, this is a movie that was created for entertainment. Who would watch it if they were like, no, nah, we good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is what I mean. They're not violent. They're not. They're the came to a mall. So that means that they already know what human life is like. So they they're already so you think they've been here. They're, they're, they've already been here. Well, here's, here's yeah. the thing. Yeah. Here's the fact fresh. about them coming to the mall, right? <laughs> there was a girl on TikTok that Yo, said she put in the coordinates, <laughs> right, for the mall, mm -hmm. and it and and she reversed them and put those coordinates in, and it took her to a, a location in Antarctica, right? There's supposedly a base in Antarctica, at Mount Hayes, at the bottom of a the bottom of this mountain. Is. Um, I follow this channel called The Wi Files. You should ch check the it out. Wild Files? Wi Files on, on YouTube. Y Wi Wi Files. Files. Like Wi Fi? Yeah. Wi Files. Why? Like W H Y. Oh, uh, why? Okay. Yeah. yeah. He did a really right great Same. video on it, right? There's sp supposedly an alien base at the, mm. uh, under the underground called uh, Mountain Haze. She said the coordinates took her specifically to that mountain. Mm -hmm. So, with. What she was trying to say was like maybe niggas got lost. Somehow <laughs> motherfuckers put in the wrong <laughs> coordinates. GPS the wrong got GPS. fucked up. Coordinates ended up in Miami. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Like, Mount, fucking aliens landed Miami. Mount Haines is in, in Alaska, Florida. 
Um, but also, what she what she means? She reversed the, the coordinates. The coordinates. Did she I don't know. Did she just turn the like numbers put, around I'll, like about yeah, face? It was it was a couple of people asking that. Like, how did how did you do that? I don't know, man. It's TikTok. Let me find out. Lying, man. Y'all be lying. How did they Stop get the that cap? lost though? Because they came from a different planet. So to find the exact planet so in the universe and then get Miami and Alaska. And there's no up. way a mall right. looks like a fucking mountain. Right. They're like, this is a funny I'm looking mountain. Like you got these parking spots in this mountain. <laughs> also, I'm Antarctica just saying, if you come in here, you just put in there. coordinates. You're not putting in like wait, fucking wait, 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 uh, wait. Miami mall. We're we not going to just days. glaze on over that parts. Did you just say the, the whole continent's a rumor? Yeah. So the footage that we have of people who, like, you know I just made a video. <laughs> yeah. Nobody. We don't have any footage. Will Smith went. Have. You said Will Smith Didn't went? Didn't Will Smith go? Nah, man. That's, that's like the, the moonwalking. That's, none of that is true. And now I, the moonwalk, I don't believe. I don't believe. The flag. In, I, the... I believe places where you can buy a ticket to and go. Okay. Can go you go to Antarctica? Wait, 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 wait. So you don't believe in the clan meeting? Oh, I've seen meetings. You don't, you can't but buy you ain't been to one. Oh, brother, let me tell you something. Do they have I didn't tickets? go to the meeting. Do they have <laughs> tickets? Groupon. Yo, open no, up seven saying. free before seven. The nigga with a important hat ripping them. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Get in there, nigga. Oh, You're black. Uh, 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 <laughs> ticket remote. <laughs> 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 nope, no black. My dad said a ticket. Seats, general admission, and VIP. No, no, no. It's VIP at Rosa Parks. Stop. She's going to put you in the bag. I love what you did there. Hey, that's funny. As racist as it is, that's a good theme. That is actually pretty witty. It's a pretty good theme. I'm sorry, y'all. Is that too much? So you got the parks tickets. <laughs> the, the parks. <laughs> you got the roses. We going to hell. Oh, man. God damn. Cold game, boy. It's cold, cold game, game, boy. Cold game, boy. Cold. It's horseback seating. Bro, but it's like if I saw an alien in real life, I would be, of course, you're just like, you're frozen. You don't have a yeah. movement. You're not going to try and grab your phone. Oh, no. You're not going to try I and would. speak to them. You're just going to be like, what's happening? And you're going to watch your life. Over you. Exactly. 10 feet 10 tall. Feet tall? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine how you look at NBA players, bro, or people right. that are 6'8", let alone they're an like alien that's 10 feet tall. That's how like basketball players look when they're not in uniform. You ever seen like one of those tall ass niggas in a regular outfit? He's like, Ew. <laughs> 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 Snoop is tall as shit. Like you see Snoop, yeah, Snoop dog is like six, six. on a regular day. Snoop is mad tall, especially if he don't have like baggy clothes on. Uh -huh. Like if he got on like like a suit. Like I saw him like at the suit. movie awards, he had on a suit, and it was just like. Bruh's bruh's just dumb tall. He's too tall. Like, really? no, I thought no he was reason. given like maybe six three, six four, but he's, he's like taller six, than six. that. He's like six six. Wow. Damn, really? Wow. Yeah. yeah, he's still was tall. I just don't get why everything that's filmed on our timeline all year is clear because it's with an iPhone or an Android. But then as soon as something gets paranormal, it looks like it was filmed with a potato six, six, four. or a that fucking is, PlayStation that One. Is potato. It's all it's all drawn oh, with an etch a sketch. I'm right. sick of it. It's, it was so grainy. Like, this is an alien. Well, they said that they were deleting all the yeah. good footage. Oh. But okay. it's just and weird that somebody had a Razor phone in that helicopter. I can't. Trying to zoom. She said they, they, they disputed that yeah. coordinate uh, theory on CP's podcast. Hey, did okay. y'all see the um, the grainy footage of the, the giant on the mountain? Well, no. I remember that one. Yeah, I, I did remember not. that. There's a, tic yeah. there was a TikToker yeah. who was like, there's, I, I swear yeah. there's a uh, giant. And there was like all these like uh, war helicopters and, and military helicopters flying over there. And he was filming the top of a mountain and it looked like a dude was standing there like this. That's crazy. And then something happened with his account. And then there was like rumors of him disappearing. It was a lot of shit. I know what you're talking about. It could have all been yeah. planned yeah. out, yeah. bro. When you got the like, truth, you delete it. Or, or it could have been planned out. They could be like, oh, this is what I'm going to do. This is step one, step two, step three. And he could have just had an online presence for a month, and then all of a sudden, video go viral. He deletes the page, deletes the video. Y Files. Huh? They did a video on it. Y Is this files. YouTube? I couldn't find yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. W H Y. That, that looks like it could be the oh, same alien. Yeah, Y Files. I'm two thinking big like Y Files. So I'm thinking W. Yeah. Here's what yeah. the, this showed me this though with Miami. We're not ready for aliens, bro. Yeah, nah. We're not ready mm. to I think have are. them in society. You think so? They showed them in court, and everybody was like, yeah. <laughs> "No big deal," because they was dead and they were let small. Them, the and they, they were tiny. Yeah. Yeah. Like the Mexican aliens. Yeah, yeah, the Mexican aliens. Well, Mexican I mean, they landed in Mexico. They were going. I think they like, "Hola, señor." They just say they were Mexican because they were short. <laughs> Yo, what are you saying? They were just in Mexico. <laughs> it's not like the fucking uh, aliens at the mall were Floridians. <laughs> yeah, <Yo>, Flor <laughs> they just landed there. <laughs> oh, I'd be terrified. They were Mexican bro. aliens too. <laughs> <laughs> they were Mexican aliens too. They were long. 
Man, I don't believe. I don't believe it until I really see it. That's why I believe in Bluetooth because I really seen the the results. <laughs> right? When it comes to Bluetooth, so Bluetooth ain't thing. never let your boy down. Like we and me and Pat been subscribed to Bluetooth for a very long time. Mm. We first uh, we are we have been doing the ads for a while. When the Hell. first ad we did, we tried it out. It was like this is all right. Mm. Now, I didn't need Bluetooth, but I wanted to see what the possibilities were. If you heard something can make you jump higher, run faster, and he was like, hey, you get ten percent off too. Like, why would you not try it out? Come on. Actually, the first month was free, just like it is right now. Now, for those that don't know, Bluetooth is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. And uh, mm. you get you you can actually increase your performance. It's made in the USA. Uh, it's chewable. It costs a lot less than all the other options out there. Um, you can take them anytime, day or night. So you're always ready when the opportunity arises. And... Um, I can't say enough good stuff about it, guys. I'm not going to sit up here and try to sell you on something that I told y'all about a thousand times. The process is simple. You sign up at BlueChew.com. You consult with one of their licensed medical providers. And once you're approved, you receive your prescription within days. Now, I'm going to tell you what. If you go out to my car right now, you're probably going to find four to five packs of BlueChew. Yep. All right? They're there. They're in all of my travel bags. Okay? They're in all of my toiletry bags. They go with your boy. All right? I have a running subscription and I will continue to have one because I love the results that I get. Again, I didn't need it, but now after I can dunk with my dick, why would I not do it? Dunk hmm? is funny. Mm. Why would I not do it? <laughs> so listen, fellas, if you're ready to take your sex game to the next level, okay, I just want to remind you that Bluetooth tablets are made in the USA and they're prepared and they're shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. You don't have to worry about nobody being in your business. It's time to go ahead and sign up, all right? Uh, head on over to Bluetooth.com Use the promo code DIYS and receive your first month completely for free. All you have to do is pay $5 for shipping. You got $5, buster. All right? Use that $5. Use that for the shipping. Here to Bluetooth.com. Use the promo code DIYS and receive your first month completely for free. Uh, we thank Bluetooth for sponsoring this, um, this podcast. And hit the Bluetooth.com for more important safety information. Peace. Shout out Yo, to Bluetooth. Yo. Bluetooth and then hitting the gym. That's the time. Come on, bro. You out of control, <laughs> bro. I had a blue chew once, man. And they, this is what they don't tell you with the ads. Only once? They don't tell you this. I'm talking about the specific time. Uh, I hit the young chew. After you pop off, mm -hmm. you ready to go again in like 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's what they don't tell you. If that. And you you in there. You know what I'm talking about? And I was taking a lot of the blue chews when my circulation wasn't right because I wasn't working out. So I needed a lot of the extra <laughs> I needed you needed, some the, extra you needed help. the flow. <laughs> hey man, it's like like Mike. You know, you remember that Bow Wow movie, Like Mike? Yeah. I'm like, is this a space fit? I didn't want to laugh. I'm if sorry. you found I'm those magical it. shoes, she's me and I'm she. No magical uh, shoes. If you found those magical <laughs> shoes, would you ever practice basketball again? <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm a whole Did you ever man. fucking go work on your jumper? No. Yeah, these are Put the fat. shoes on. <laughs> man. Okay. And Put then, the magical you know, shoes on. After the circulation got right, I bought what I hit there. She one boy. I was a champion. She was let's do it again. I was like, hey, baby girl. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to live. You know Finish, I mean? Come on. Finishing and your shit is still hard is real awkward. Yeah, they're like, they're like, did you lie? Yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm like, look down. You know, you're the goddamn uh, way. No. So I gotta take a shower average, though. So on average, after you take your first chew, how like what is the time span from like about start seven to minutes? Finish? Twenty-five to thirty for me. Really? Yeah. So it's on a per person basis. Well, no, I Seems think there's like a it. difference between actually chewing it and sometimes I just take it like a pill oh. and just chug it. so it'll really? let because that'll be like okay this is for way later mm -hmm. but chew there have been times where oh. you know a, a young lady was uh, parking and coming up the building I took it and I, it was it worked it was, <laughs> it it was instantaneous it, 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 kick it in. showed if you, up if you start the action like yeah, yeah, yeah. let's say she was parking she yeah. came up they had to talk a little bit but have a little wine yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever like 15 minutes in they, they right there that 15 minutes, by the time he starts, midway through, mid-stroke, he's going to feel it. Oh, so it's up and oh, stuck. That's it. After you start. Okay. Yeah, yeah it'll, start, it'll kick in after you start. Oh, I'm so you don't wait until it kicks in. I felt it like... I ain't, <laughs> this might be TMI, but here we go. It sorry, y'all. I was just kidding. <laughs> he said, there he is. <laughs> the heart is different when it's huh. regular and when mm -hmm. it's a Bluetooth heart. Yeah. And I felt... <laughs> 
in action, I felt that hard. Like, yeah. it literally feels like that. It was like, oh, it's you, up. you feel it like oh, in the oh, oh. Regular heart is like this. Yeah. yeah. This is like, yeah. that shit turned into you're a yeah. you know, So you're you not waiting for like the Jim Carrey, uh, the man. Me myself Stop. when I read the moment. No. No. Oh, oh, you what a bitch. What a bitch. No. Just Hey, here's the thing. You got to realize the reason it's a different heart is because it is a performance enhancer. No question about it. You're literally taking a piece of help mm -hmm. to make you into a different monster. Yes. And that is a great thing to have. No, not a steroid, but it's like... Just to enhance. You're yeah, enhanced. it increases the blood flow. flow. Yeah, it increases mm -hmm. blood flow. Blood, yeah. blood start going like this. You take a blue shoe, it's morphin' time for real. <laughs> <laughs> for real. <laughs> Uh, been there, boy. I tell you this. I was scared to take Blue Chew at yeah. first, before, like when they first came out, because yeah. I had an episode with a Mexican Viagra that the oh. homie gave me. Yeah, yeah. Man, a Mexican Viagra had everything else on my body hard except my dick. Man, what? my leg was swollen for two months. I was like, Nah, this nigga had a hard mustache. Wouldn't be true. I was good, man. With that Blue Chew, I'll tell you what. I, okay. Listen, I, I fucking animate. That's crazy. It 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 turns to very Attack different. On Titan. Yeah, it's just crazy. crazy. It turns crazy. <laughs> and I ain't mad at it. That blood flow come through like Tommy, Tommy, ha! Once I found out that niggas was taking gas station pills, I was like, oh, I'm oh, definitely man. gonna do this one first. <laughs> at least this one. I mean, yeah, at this, one, this one has a doctor involved at least. Pills, huh? Yeah, they're asking you questions. They care. <laughs> no, oh, okay. I didn't know niggas was that reckless. Yeah, man. This ain't the best. Have y'all tried the honey thing? Honey pack? I don't know what that is. Dude, my boy gave me one of those What's ones, up? bro. I didn't do shit. You didn't do it? Or is it? Or is it like, no, it's just like a pack of honey. Like, it literally looks like, like a, a pack, literal pack. You know, like yeah. in Popeyes, the little, little yeah. you, the you eat it like that, and I guess it's the same, the same thing. But the thing is, you can get it at a gas station, so I don't trust yeah. it. Yeah, I don't really trust a lot of stuff you can get at a gas station. Not even the gas. To well, be not the wings. Like, you stupid. <laughs> well, 7-Eleven isn't really a gas station. They got it's gas like, station. It's like a boneless gas station. It's like a what? Boneless gas station. 7-Eleven? Yeah, because it don't have gas. Because it don't have always have the gas. Yeah, uh, so sometimes they stand alone. So that's not a wild, traditional. Uh, yeah. wait, it's it's not follow. traditional. It's not like traditional. Her. They also got jumbo wings at so 7-Eleven. Huh? The wings at 7-Eleven, the original spicy joints, like the dry ones. Not want to get the sauce up. Right, right, they're right. like jumbo sized wings. So how do you explain? <laughs> hey man, <laughs> I feel like you about to be on some bullshit. No, I'm just no, saying. You know how you about to say how do you explain too. wings that are jumbo sized? Are those just bigger chickens? Oh brother, I've given up the anatomy of why a size of a chicken wing Ain't should be big. That's why I don't think it's chicken. Oh mm. man, I feel like jumbo Ooh. wings is a different animal. Because we all looking at the same chickens, right? Mm. That's a fact. <laughs> if they advertise what the animal really was, I would feel I'd still probably rock with it. All okay. Right. Well, listen. Thinking. We've had a we've had a good time. It's been a cool time, man. It's been a great time. We got man. we got to get on out of. I didn't realize that the next guest had already pulled up oh, on us sorry. like that, like that. But it's yeah. all good. It's all good. Uh, want to give a uh, space for you guys to let people know all your socials where they can find the show and all of that before we get on out of here. At somewhere on sunset everywhere, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, somewhere on Sunset. You can also follow everybody separately from that page. Thank mm -hmm. you so yeah. much, Damon, and that you're scared for yes, having us. Yes, yeah. Absolutely, man. Appreciate y'all coming appreciate up and you guys being on time and you coming whenever the fuck you want to. Pat, uh, thank you That's so much. Well, I mean, we've had a great time. As <laughs> always, I isolated the entire I'm time. I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Clark. We'll see you next time on another episode of Damn, Isn't That? You, you scary. scary. Peace, guys. Oh, you've been waiting to say that?